Yo, 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 what's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's your boy, Chain Wayne. Welcome to the blog. Y'all already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos. All right, man, so we got another uh, update on this whole Lil Dirk situation, right? So now, apparently, there's a, there's a snitch, right? Like, I already said it, right? So it says, Lil Dirk snitch was an OTF member, and he was exposed for wearing a wire. OTF Jam allegedly wore wire for multiple years. He previously served a 12-year sentence. So my question is, if this is true, right? When did this I don't know this guy. When did this guy get out of this 12-year sentence? And was that some type of deal that he took to be around Dirk and them to wear this wire? You get what I'm saying? Like I don't like I don't know all the OTF members. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all do, but I know I don't. So what was the whole motive of him wearing this wire tag? You get what I'm saying? Was it to basically set Dirk up in the long run or what? Like, what was the purpose of that? That's my question, right? And then it's like, the feds must have already been watching Dirk for however many years. That's why they already had people that was hip to it. So my thing is, you got a whole informant in your in your crew. How, how many other snitches was you hanging around? And I feel like that was one of the reasons why Dirk was, was he basically was trying to like change his life around. I guess you want to say doing, doing the whole Muslim thing saying that uh he not about to be hanging around a whole bunch of entourage you get what i'm saying i heard he just started doing turkey drives he was giving back to the community he just got two keys to the city so i'm thinking that he already knew that they was moving in on him and he was trying to strategically get himself out of the loophole of the situation but he couldn't because he was in too deep you get what i'm saying so if this is true this guy had to take some type of deal to help take down Dirk. That's you get what I'm saying. That's why Dirk got snatched up so quick. It, it, it gotta be, bro. Like you get what I'm saying. I don't know what this, how close this person was to Dirk. What was his relationship with with Dirk? But the fact that you was wearing a wire tech for however long that you was, it's got it's way more serious than what we think, y'all. You get what I'm saying? Allegedly, allegedly, way more serious than what we think. Um, and like I say, it's gonna be more stuff that's gonna come out and get exposed. We still gonna see who that snitch is in this whole scenario. Cause like I said, five people get snatched up, and now Dirk is being in custody basically for the person who basically supplied the money and you know the OTF cards and all that to, for them to do this drill that was supposed to get Quando Rondo out here, but it mistakenly went wrong and they got his cousin. So, off of that being said. I, I people they working man i'm trying to tell you like i'm trying to tell you like ain't no rapper safe bro if you did something bro they coming for you bro the feds is coming bro you get what i'm saying like i don't know if it's gonna be more charges that get exposed i don't know who gonna sit there they gonna tell might be more people that get snatched up but it's not looking good bro like i like i, I call the spade a spade i say done you get what i'm saying like that's just me period like like i say at the end of the day it's messy when you got so many people that's trying to do a killing, bro. When you got five, six people trying to take out one guy, first of all, y'all look weak. Second of all, y'all doing too much. Third of all, it's always going to be somebody that's gonna that's not going to stand on business if they get caught, bro. Because like I say, nowadays, in today's society, I don't care who you is, bro. If you do a drill, bro, you're going to get caught. You might not get caught right then and there, but they're going to put the pieces together they going to get whatever evidence that they need. They're going to get witnesses. They're going to be looking at surveillance cameras, license plates, phone phone pings, all that, bro. Like, yo, you're going to get caught, bro. It's too much technology nowadays, bro, for you to not get caught. And it's like, everybody was like, like I said, everybody was like, yo, Dirk, he be moving smart. Dirk move militant. Dirk do that. No, he don't, bro. Because if he did, he wouldn't have freaking just hired these guys just to do that, for one. Number two, you funding the money with your OTF credit cards, bro. So they, yo, you, you, the, you the, the face behind OTF. Come on, bro. Make it make sense, bro. That's not moving strategically, bro. If you, if you wanted this man out of here, like I said, you should have did it yourself, bro. I get it. You dirt. You feel like you ain't got to get your hands dirty. I'm going to pay somebody. Yeah, you're going to pay somebody. The paper trail going to come back on you. And that person going to snitch. And you about to get the same amount of time, maybe even more, because you was the one... That that you was the one that orchestrated it, bro. You are the ring leader. You might not be the gunman, but you are the ring leader, bro. That's a death penalty at at its finest, bro. Ain't no way dancing around this, bro. Like you get what I'm saying? 
and <clears throat> I've been saying everybody been going off like, oh, little Dirk, he dumb, he dumb. But y'all wanted him to slide for Vaughn, though, right? Y'all wanted him to slide. Yo, why Dirk and them ain't slide? See, I know 6 9 having a field day with this. And even though I ain't no 6 9 fan, he having a field day, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, you crashed out. And the crazy part about it is, Vaughn was a crash out. And Dirk, you had way more going. Now you crashed out over a crash out, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's, it's, it's crazy, yo. Like, yo, you done. All y'all done, bro. Like, it's crazy, yo. The hip hop industry about to just be so different, yo. Like everybody about to, everybody is is gone, bro. You get what I'm saying? You got Pooh Shiesty. You know what I'm saying? You got Dirk. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, all of these people getting snatched up, bro. Like Pee Wee Longway, bro. Like all these people, bro. Young Thug. Like, I'm trying to tell you, bro. These rappers they keep getting caught. Doing all this dumb stuff, yo, we ain't gonna have no, we ain't gonna have no hip hop music in a couple years, bro. We ain't gonna have, we ain't gonna have no favorite rapper, bro. You get everybody gonna be either dead or locked up, bro. Like it's like it's crazy out here, bro. It's too messy, yo, and it's bad for business, bro. Y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, bro. Like, do y'all think y'all what y'all think about if this 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 person is for real with this wiretap? Like, if y'all, bro, that's crazy work, bro. It's crazy work, bro. You get what I'm saying? When you moving too much around in the streets, bro, and the and the and the feds is watching you, bro, you gotta be on point, bro. Cause the feds don't just the feds don't just come out just to come out. Yo, they've been probably been watching this man for years, and they probably been watching Dirk ever since Vaughn got killed. And I'm gonna say that because it's allegedly going around. That's the rumor that when Vaughn did that video when he paid the guys 100k, that was supposed to be for the duck hit. You get what I'm saying? And they trying to bait and they I remember at one point in time it was a conspiracy thought that like yo freaking um Dirk had gave Vaughn the money to give to the guys. Like that was like yo, I'm I'm gonna give you this money, split it with the guys for you know what I'm saying? Allegedly. So it's like they probably already been watching that man, bro. They've been watching that man at least for like two, three years. They ain't gonna sit there and tell me. You get what I'm saying? Cause they came so fast to pick him up after them, it was just like, yo, got him. Like, you get what I'm saying? Somebody told the wiretap allegedly, got him. You get what I'm saying? Like, ain't waste no time getting dirt. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, no time, bro. And he ain't getting out. He ain't getting out, bro. It's crazy, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And I'm out.